Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, a show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Now before we start, I just wanted to remind you, there's still time to vote for me in the OptiBurn 12 week challenge. The link is below. So if you have a Facebook account, please help me out and get me into that top five. Now that that's out of the way, welcome to our 50th episode. Yep, there's been 50 of these damn things already. And we're gonna kick off this bad boy in style thanks to this request from the boys over at Random Gameplay who asked, do you think you could ever do a film learning episode about animation? Yes, I believe I could. In fact, it's gonna be three episodes and let me explain why. It's complicated. So the first part we'll tackle today is setting up your character for animation. I'll be using Flash to draw my character, but honestly you can use Photoshop or Illustrator or any other drawing program you like, as I'm only using Flash because I'm better at drawing and in it. In case you haven't seen my animation in action, click on this icon here to get to the playlist for video games versus real life and check it out. That's enough plugging I think. Yeah. Let's get to work! Okay guys, here we are in Flash CS6. And here's my version of Steve from the Minecraft episode. If we take a look here, everything is all layered out and separate. This is the key to getting your animation to work inside After Effects, as each part needs to be able to be animated independent of the other. So as you can see, we have everything from the eyebrows, to the pupils, to the eyelids, to the mouth, to the head, to the right arm, left arm, body, and finally, both of our legs. Once your character's put together like this, all we have to do is export out the individual parts and then put them back into the same order when we head into After Effects. One thing I want to draw your attention to is the fact that this comp in Flash is set up in 4K. I've done this so that when I bring it into After Effects, I know exactly how big my character's going to be in the frame and I've got a lot more room to move if I want to make him bigger or smaller, as I'm going to be working in Full HD. Next, here comes the slightly complicated bit, the face. If we cut back to our Minecraft episode again, you can see that we have a range of different facial expressions and mouth shapes, and those bad boys all have to be drawn. Admittedly, I went a little over the top and drew way more than I actually needed, but I wanted to get a bit more emotion into the face, so I made both happy and neutral expressions of each mouth shape. If you click the link in the description, I've given you a guide to all of these expressions so you can create your own too. The key to good lip sync in your mouth shapes is a good variance in the shape of the mouth, because when we, you know, as people talk, our mouth moves a hell of a lot, and cartoons should really accentuate that even more. So if we look at the guide, we have an A expression, an E expression, an L or TH, an S or R expression, an U or W, an F or V expression, and of course, a neutral smile or frown. We also need to animate the eyelids and eyebrows. Down in the description, I've also included a guide for these as well. So the expression you might like to do in the eyelids includes a blink of course, and a couple of frames sort of lowering the eyelids. With the eyebrows, you want a couple of expressions here that really sell the mood of your character. So we'll start off with neutral, lower them down after two frames for angry, raise them up two frames for surprised, bend them up two frames for worried, and just for fun, raise one eyebrow for curious or confused. So basically, we'll render all of these parts out into a folder, like the one I've got here. So in the Steve folder, I have all of the main parts, arm, head, body, etc. Then in this eye folder, I have the eyebrows and the eyelid expressions, all numbered individually. And finally, the mouth folder that contains all of our mouth expressions. So in this episode, we'll be building our brow, eyelid and mouth comps so that when next week blows around, we'll be ready to animate. To After Effects! Okay, so here we are for the first time of the year. I've imported our image folders and we're ready to go. Open up a new comp and give it a time of 10 seconds and make it 4K. We'll then grab our math images all at once and drop them into that comp. Now for some trimming. Highlight all of your images, head to the end of the comp, hold shift and let's drag them back so each of those images takes up five frames. We'll then right click, head to keyframe assistant and click sequence layers. Tick this box here for overlap and BAM! Our frames are now perfectly staggered like a staircase. We can then head to the end of the frames, hit end to trim the work area, right click and select trim comp to work area. Now if we check out a preview, you can see all of our mouth movements are ready to go, each occupying an individual space in our comp. We'll then follow that up with our eyelids in another comp and follow that up with the eyebrows in their own comp too. Follow the exact same steps as we did with the mouth comp. 
Now that our facial comps are done, let's open up a new comp. I'll name it Steve after the character, make this 4K as well, and then let's drop each of the body parts in one after the other, fitting them into place. We'll then drop our facial comps just below that right arm, you know, just in case it moves in front of the face during our animation. Now since our pupils go under our eyelids, we have to do something a little bit different. Let's head up, grab a new white solid, and drop said solid below our pupils and eyelids. We'll then turn it off, zoom in, grab the pen tool, and draw two masks around the eye areas, making sure to stay in the lines. Once you're done, turn that solid back on, and we now have the whites in our eyes, and our character is all set up for rigging. So that's the first part of our animation tutorial done, guys. We've built our character from scratch with all of these parts. So just so you've got something to play with until next week, I've included the folder and all of the parts to make up Steve to download below. Join me next week and we'll rig the character up, including eyelid, mouth, and eyebrow controllers. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We have 49 other episodes of Film Learning and over 130 videos on this channel for you to check out. Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. If you have a request, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share the video, and I'll see you next week for part two. And as always, keep learning.